all about math. Ah, like just give them all. <laughs> so that's what you, you know, you don't want to happen in public, right? Don't want that to happen. <laughs> so we wanted to give y'all some tips and tricks on skincare and makeup tips for when you have to wear a mask. Yeah. So um, we've been hearing a lot that people are having a lot of problems with breakouts and skincare yeah. in general and what makeup to wear and what not to mess with when you have to wear a mask anyway. And so oh, and all of us are in the same boat, right? Yeah. We're all yeah. doing this. So I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm trying to find cute ones. Hello, right. kiss. Yeah. <laughs> so when we deliver curbside, you'll see our, yeah. our you gonna, kiss lips. You get a kiss from us. So we're trying to find cute, thing, cute masks and um, you know things that match such our outfit. <laughs> Fashionable masks, hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, now there is because you. I mean, we've got to accessorize if you're gonna have to wear it then you, you know, find something to wear with your outfit or whatever makes you feel and look cute. Uh, I just ordered a new one. This has been my favorite, my go-to since this whole thing started. Um, but I just ordered a new satin mask. For I have kind of a fancy thing going on this weekend. It's my five year anniversary. And I have a really, really dear friend's wedding, which is gonna be small, but it's still the, it has to go with my outfit, so I fancied it up and ordered a satin mask. Who would have ever thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Pink satin. 2020 <laughs> is throwing us for a loop. It over really, and over and over. It really is. We're, we're learning all kinds of new things and doing things we never thought we'd do, yeah. which is fun, if you look at it that way. Yeah, we never <laughs> thought we'd be doing a Facebook and Instagram live on how yes. to make your eyes pop with a mask over the this half of your face or how to take care of your skin that's <laughs> irritated from the mask. But the people I really feel for are the people who have to wear it for hours and hours. We just pop it on and run, you know, yeah. things orders out curbside and really we're pretty lucky wear it at the grocery store, but right. we don't really go anywhere. So we don't, we aren't one of those people, um, you know, our yeah. medical workers who right. have to wear them all day, or even even the people at the grocery store who have to, the workers who have to wear it for eight hours a day. So so many right. people have to wear these things for eight hours a day. So we yeah. feel for you. We for do, sure. and you know, it's very important right now. Um, very. You gotta do it. So we're gonna give you our our best and most favorite tips and tricks, and not only with makeup, because you can still have fun with makeup. I, I'm getting, you know, every once in a while, there are a lot of people that are like, no, it, nobody sees me anyway, you can't see my face. It's not true, you get to see, you know, your beautiful eyes and the mask. So we're gonna teach you some things about makeup and then also some things about skincare, which is very important. But you know what? The most important thing is that I don't have my bubbly. Well, it's really <laughs> important that you go get that. But honestly, I, I would argue it's even more important to have makeup on your eyes right now right. so that you feel pretty, well, even though you're covered up exactly. and staying healthy. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity to play with your eyes and to really play them up and experiment with new things and try new things that maybe you know you wouldn't usually try in, in a different Because why not? Stands. Exactly. Why not? I mean, after all, let's just let's make our eyes our best feature. If that's all you can see. I know this has thrown me for a loop in so many ways. I'm I'm thinking outside the box. I don't. I mean, I'm working out at home, um, which in January I would have said no. That's I don't. That's not for me. I, don't <laughs> um, I get up at, at, and go to my class. You know, because that's what I like. So we're all having, and I think. Well, I like to go out to eat Mexican food, but we're figuring out how to make some enchiladas at home now and then. So she made some really good enchiladas on Sunday that I ate last night, and oh my goodness, we have to because you yeah. gotta figure it out. You can get takeout and support local restaurants. So at some degree, where we get tired of cooking the same things over and over, so we try to think outside the box and keep it exciting. Hi, yeah. Sharissa. I see Sharissa's on. Hey, good to see you. Hopefully, all is good. Midland, our hometown, our original hood. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay. That's where we're here for. That's where we came from. Well, she doesn't even have her bubbly yet. So there's, there's no telling. Can't blame it on that. All right, actually, I am going to grab my bubbly on that note. And uh, let's kick it off.
off with Ginger, you're going to talk to us about skincare. Yeah. Why I we, we need to figure out what we're doing under these masks. How can we avoid breakouts? Yeah. And um, how can we, you know, what can we do to keep the, from irritating? Keep it calm. Keep calm. And carry on. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I love it. I'll be right So, back. yes, that's what we're going to start out with. <laughs> so, those of you who are wearing these masks for hours, I know you might be experiencing irritation, acne breakouts rosacea it's they can even cause broken blood vessels which is terrible i hate broken blood vessels it's so annoying um but any or all of those things can be can be happening and in fact gertie just told me today that they've added a new word to the urban dictionary mask me because so many people are experiencing acne from where they are wearing their masks apparently my sister has lost her <laughs> it, is, it is nowhere so that she, she'll be back later. In the meantime, uh, I have a few tips for you on how to address any and all of those issues that hopefully can help everybody. Number one, keep your skin clean. Gotta keep your skin clean. And it's even better if you can use a cleansing treatment, particularly one that's packed with antioxidants, because that is going to help repair and soothe your skin. So our African Tea Cleanser is a really good candidate. Um, this gets rave reviews, particularly from people that have problem skin or um, skin that tends to break out. We hear that this really, really helps um, calm and soothe. So definitely cleanse your skin before you put your mask on. We always recommend you do so twice a day, of course, but keep your skin as clean as you can and that will help calm the breakouts. Uh, on, on this too, um, I was we were doing an Insta Live earlier um, with one of our friends, but I know I, I mentioned this. I went out of town way back when you could, you know, travel, and I just used whatever was in. I left this at home and used whatever was at a hotel. I would say, and I noticed a huge difference instantly in my skin with the softness, and I mean it was so dramatic. Not only just like in the softness, but the moisture that it had in right. whenever you do that it really makes you realize it makes you appreciate quality like ingredients quality. exactly so I don't go without my African tea um, it, it's one of my favorite things so yeah and as I said it's packed with antioxidants which is really gonna help with any irritation it's gonna help calm it number two um, so wearing a mask can really deplete your skin of moisture. On the other hand, it can also, because you're talking and breathing into it, really create more, more, more moisture, that's really hard to say, yeah. within that area, which can then cause more problems. Like more bacteria. Growth, more right? bacteria, which is yeah. yuck. So a really, really good thing to do to sort of head that off is to seal your skin. So. Beauty oils act as a barrier against environmental stressors. And so ours is packed, again, with antioxidants and vitamin C, hugely anti-inflammatory. But in addition, it's a beauty oil. So it seals your skin and it acts as a barrier to prevent the moisture from building up and causing even more problems. So cleanse and apply this to just help keep everything set from getting the pH off balance. And I love that you say a barrier because I call our organic golden beauty oil my it's like a wetsuit. So if you're gonna go dive into the ocean, like you're it is literally your wetsuit. So it's gonna keep anything from getting in. It's creating a barrier, but it yeah, exactly. It's just it's like a protection wall for your face. So it's gonna keep every all of that bad stuff out and all of the good stuff that's in the beauty oil in. Right. And, and so those two things are great. Now, one thing you'll want to do if you are having breakouts, once you take your mask off and you cleanse, you might, we would suggest treat with our vital serum. Our vital serum is packed with over a dozen plant extracts. It is so soothing. We literally have clients who swear by this. We swear by it too. If we begin to get a breakout, we treat this. We're always leery of saying it sounds like a snake oil salesman, but it, it disappears. It disappears. We and it's not just us. We have clients that come in and say, 
What is in that? It's amazing. And it, it literally got rid of my breakout immediately. So this is what you like to treat. It's life changing. So you want to cleanse and you want to protect, but you also you have to treat if where your skin is off balance. And this is what we recommend for that because it has vitamins A, C, and E. It's going to soothe and it's just going to calm your skin. I mean, if all you do is add those three things into your routine, I think being diligent with those three things, you're going to see an immediate change in your skin. Well, that, what you just said, though, is so true. You have to be diligent. You can't just right. wash your face, oh, maybe every other day. Oops, I forgot. No, you have to do it. If you're wearing a mask, you have to do it twice a day. You have to do it twice a day. That's really good advice. I think sometimes we can, like you said, be looking for that magical snake oil serum yeah. or, or whatever it is and put it on and expect immediate results. Yeah. And your skin does have to adapt to skincare. Sure. So it takes time, you have to purge out all the, the bad stuff, you have to give your skin a chance to get used to skincare, but being with it, you, diligently using it you know, regularly and sticking to a good plan, will definitely help. For sure. And I think that common logic is it takes 90 days or something like that for your skin cells to turn over. Yeah. Um, and to see the real results of any quality skincare that you might add in. So but that's a good point. I can guarantee that you're gonna, you will see results so much quicker once you actually start using it. But it is true, like the science behind it is 90 days. But I think you'll, you'll notice most people will notice the difference right away. Um, and this applies to men and women. I know you're sure. there, you're wearing masks too, and you're going through the same things. And you need to cleanse. And you need to cleanse, and you need to treat, and you need to protect. Yep. <laughs> you do. Preach, sister. All those things. <laughs> so these these three steps will really help with the mask issues, the mask. I'm, I'm not on board with that term, but whatever. I'm trying to be cool. Um, uh, another bonus. We heard this tip from an esthetician today. Wash your mask in hot water and your cleanser. So that's brilliant. I can't believe I didn't think of that because it's just... Sounds it's like common sense, sense, but it's so smart. It's it's so smart. Of course you should do that. Why wouldn't you do that? Yeah. And then um, dry it on the hottest setting so that you make sure it's all the way dry before you put it back on. Of course. And um, I think you know you do forget though to this needs to be washed too. Yeah. Um, because you know you're putting it on every day. It's carrying bacteria. And you're breathing on it. Yeah. yeah. It you needs to be wash washed as often as you can wash it. Ideally, they say every day. I don't know. I cannot. I cannot it. wash it, but we'll, we'll go for it. Who are these people? We'll, 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 we'll aim for more frequently than we currently do. How's that? Let's go for once a week, okay? Let's like my, like my bed sheets. Yeah. yeah. So, lastly, a couple of tips that we've learned about masks. Um, cotton is fine. It's not going to be as irritating as something that is more tightly woven, like. A, a rayon or I don't know any of those kind of um, synthetic oh, materials right, right yeah you cotton is a good choice however if you're especially prone to breakouts really something made of silk is better but there's a drawback to the silk and that is that the virus can potentially more easily get through because it's more porous so if you have a silk mask you might want several layers of silk, you know, rather than just one layer, but you no, know, we just gotta do it. Yeah. The best. We're all doing the best we can. Exactly. Um, no. But, yeah, so. Um, well, we're not medical doctors here. <laughs> of, course, of course not. This is just a tip. We <laughs> we're just hearing these tips and passing them along. Definitely. And we don't have, have my MD. But it's true, no, it makes sense though that with silk, you know, it would be thinner because it's a little more breathable, a little softer. It makes sense. It's kind of common sense. Of course, you know, with multiple layers, you know, that would keep things from getting through. So, um, you know, yeah. yeah. Maybe know. do the research and see if it's worth investing right. in one or if you exactly. can find a high quality one. Again, ours are cotton. So, yeah, we don't, I don't have a silk one right now. I think the one she ordered is satin. She needs to research whether that thing's going to do any good. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to be putting like, I'm going to be putting layers under like, uh, A layer of, no, I really will. It, it's, 
We'll have to do what we have to do. We gotta do what we gotta you do. You could put one of those blue surgical ones under it. Yeah, exactly. And then you, you could do something. Look, you just whatever. have a lot of things wrapped around your ears, which right. might be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just cover it with my hair. Look, you can't even see them. <laughs> I will be posting a picture of this mask <laughs> Please. on Saturday, so y'all hang with me. Um, these ones that we have here are Lauren Moshi, who's also she's out of LA, and yeah. they're super cute. And we get lots of looks, funny we looks do. at the grocery store. Oh, Especially when we're wearing them together. Oh. <laughs> That's rare right now, so we don't go with I know, that. we don't. Maybe the next person who pulls up for curbside will tag team. Tag team. We'll both we'll dash out. Memory. Right. <laughs> Waving they would probably be friends. Y'all y'all tell us where you where you got your favorite. Yeah. Mask. And tell us what like, is it made of? What is it comfortable yeah. and right, that's important. Does it make you break out? It, it totally you know, I feel like wearing a mask, I wore mine for about four hours yesterday and it gives you a, a I call it a face ache. My face really she also Thanks. wore two tight socks in her feet, ache, so I y'all just tune out now. <laughs> it's true. I, okay, I threw all the socks away this morning. I literally got on Amazon because you know you can't go to the like the department store right now. <laughs> no nope. It was a complete sock fail. They squeezed my feet all day, and they were aching so bad last night when I got home. I was on my feet for hours yesterday. And I don't know, I didn't know socks could do that, but they can, so I had a face ache and a foot ache. And I gotta say, normally I don't <laughs> try socks on. Those are a pretty safe bet to wear online. There's a lot of things that, you know, maybe not, but socks are pretty I don't know. stretchy. <laughs> I have no idea what was going on, but yeah, so she had a face ache, and a foot ache. She was a lot of fun. It was a rough day yesterday, night. so needless to say, <laughs> I'm enjoying my bubbly, and I'm having so much fun today. I mentioned we got to talk to our dear friend, um, Cassie, who's uh, with Crown Glory Beauty, who's a great LFA rep. She's amazing. She's amazing. So if you missed our conversation earlier, we had fun chatting with her. You can follow her. It's at Crown Glory Beauty and check that out. Too. And she has a beautiful photographs yeah, on her, her Instagram amazing. page. Love her. Um, so yeah, it was definitely time for some, some bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, today's a better day. <laughs> okay. Today's a better day. Let's talk yeah. about making your makeup pop while you have these things on. So, yes, makeup. So skincare, most important. We're creating this, this foundation, which is going to be an extension of our makeup. So when you're doing your skincare diligently and you're sticking with a good routine, your makeup is going to be easier, right? It just, again, it makes sense, but it is something a lot of times that, you know, we're skipping steps. Don't skip the skincare. Because like you said, it's your canvas. It's your canvas. You said that earlier. Yeah, so we want to start with that being fresh and smooth. Um, I also mentioned earlier, so you know, yeah, we've got this covering up the whole bottom of our face. So And it messes yeah. up my blood. Yeah, it does. So that is also one of my makeup tips. But Jumping makeup again. tip <laughs> number one, because you're only showing from here up, um, go easy with the foundation. We have the perfect foundation for wearing a mask. It's called our Bombshell Beauty Book. So what it does is not only is it a foundation, it's also a skincare in one. So it's an extension of skincare while you're giving yourself coverage and um, it, it's doing all these amazing things behind the scenes. So you can wear it under your mask and you're not gonna have to worry about your pores getting clogged and your face um, being dry. It's super moisturizing. Again, more vitamins, A, C, and E. You've got peptides, collagen. Uh, so basically, you're wearing a skincare that just gives your skin a little boost, too. Uh, so it's great. So bombshell. Go easy with the foundation. You don't want to go heavy. So if you went heavy and then you put your mask on and you took it off and you had a line, I mean, weird. it's going to look terrible. <laughs> right. It's going to look terrible, just let's be honest. And it's also going to keep your skin from breathing through. So you want to be like just very, very aware of what you're putting on your face now more than ever, um, because it's going to more easily clog your pores than even sure. before, right? Because you have no air, your skin isn't being able to, to breathe as it was. So go light on the foundation, number one. Number two, this is the perfect time because you have only here up to work with. <laughs> Never did I think I would be doing this tutorial <laughs> again. But um, because you have here up to work with, 
What better time? Pop those eyes. Give yourself a chance to play with color. So I know if you know me, and you know me, <laughs> you know I'm such a neutral girl. I wear neutral on my eyes. Never do I really, usually in a real life, in, in, in our other life, before all this happened, I wouldn't put pops of color. You know, I'd be very careful. I kind of did it more on my cheeks and lips. But I've had more fun during quarantine with adding pops of color to my eyes. It's really fun to play with. So an easy way to do that, if you're like me and you've always been a neutral girl, you can start with your eyeliner. So go 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 with a pop of color on your, your eyeliner. It's the easiest way. You uh, This is so cool because you can do it more bold. Um, you can wing it on the outside edge. But if you are just getting started and you're like, I'm not so sure about this. You can put it on and you can give it a little smudge and give it more of a diffused look, which will be a little softer, but you're still playing with color. This is one of my favorites right now. I'm absolutely loving it. This is Tanzanite and it's like this gorgeous blue purple. It's so pretty. Here, let me. I mean, on. I love it so much. Yeah. Maybe. Demo. <laughs> Demo. It's so pretty though. It's fun. Um, it's, it's kind of a universal subtle purple blue. It's very subtle. It's very pretty. So that's a great place to start. We have seen a huge transition. Like, no, makeup is not going away. We're still going to wear our makeup. We still get to express our individuality and be creative with our makeup, even though we're wearing a mask. But what we're seeing more of a trend is with eyeshadows, with colors, eyeliners, mascaras, you know, and of course more skincare and like I mentioned like bombshell, you know, skincare focused foundation so that you're taking care of your skin underneath that mask. Yeah. Um, this is a cool, cool way and an easy way that anybody could do. We have six different shades. So there's a beautiful emerald green. So pretty. It's really so pretty, pretty with, um, what color eyes would you say should wear the emerald? Oh, what would I, it make pop? I mean, I know a lot of people say don't wear green if you have green eyes. That is absolutely not true. I, I know y'all probably heard me say this before, or if you're just tuning in and you've never been here with us, there are no rules in makeup. Um, you get to do what makes you feel and look pretty. And I, you, that's my, like, that's my only rule. <laughs> is that if, any, if anybody ever says never do this, come on. There's, there's always a time and place. So you can totally wear a, a green eyeliner with green eyes. You can pop it out with hazel brown, um, even blue eyes. It, if you have even a little bit of green, like Ginger has blue eyes with a little bit of green, depending on what she's wearing. If you were to put some green eyeliner on, it would really bring the green out actually in your eyes, not compete with it. And this also is a, more of like a forest green rather than like a lime green. So, you know, it depends, but I never say never. So there you go. That's, that's my rule. Um, but yeah, really great question. So we also have a, one of my other favorite shades is the uh, Topaz, which is like this gorgeous golden brown. That's, that's a great place to start <laughs> if you're looking to just add some fun pops. So that, okay. Um, next, so now that we've got the eyeliner, so we've got the foundation, the eyeliner, um, one of my best tips for giving your eyes an instant lift right now with, you know, having the mask on you, don't forget to curl your eyelashes. So we're adding mascara, but give your eyelashes a curl. Our curl is awesome. I love it so much. I use it every single day. Even if I'm not doing mascara, I'll still give my lashes a curl and it gives them an instant lift. Uh, so Makes your eyes look more open, right? It makes your eyes look more open, definitely. I mean, having your, your lashes lift, of course, the mascara is going to pop, but give them a quick curl. It takes two seconds. So, giving that. Um, and then, um, to my next two things, I think, are super important. So, with a mask, you're not going to see your blush, your contour, your bronzer as much all the time. Because you tend to kind of do that, you know, a little bit lower if your mask comes up high, just depending um, exactly where it sets. Right, so. <laughs> you can't even see Demo. That. So what I would recommend doing um, is adding either a highlighter or an illuminator right here on the top of your cheekbones. And that's gonna give you a little bit of pop. So put your mask back on. 
So I'll just be. I'll then I'll be glowing. Right, yeah, let me give you like a little, <laughs> a little demo. <laughs> and yeah, it needs to be wherever you go. You can take that and just give it a little bit of a pop. It's gonna instantly just make your look look more finished and give those cheekbones just a little lift. So I definitely recommend. I think highlighter or an illuminator, whatever your jam is, is worth the investment right now and just that little bit of time to give it a pop. And then finally, hands down, do not put your mask on without giving yourself a setting spray. <laughs> so face hairspray, jet setter. This is literally, I call it face hairspray because it's going to set your look. It's going to keep things from rubbing off. It's going to keep everything in place. And again, going back to skincare. So this has soy protein. It's going to be super firming, hydrating, and it can give you just another barrier between your skin and your makeup and that mask. So never been more essential. Set it, set it. Not to mention you're setting it so your mask doesn't rub your makeup off, but you're also setting it so that when you're like, it's hot and you're sweating under there, it's Thank staying you. in place. It's staying in place. This is, um, it, you know, it's going to control the humidity. It's going to control the heat. It's going to keep everything from melting off. Which can and help improve your skin under there by definitely. controlling that humidity and preserving the pH balance there. Yes. And That's think it. of that. Yeah. So. That one <laughs> So these are our, I feel like, um, you know, some of these things you may think of and some of these things you may not. So hopefully we can kind of give you some ideas and tell you what we've been hearing, experiencing, mm -hmm. and going through during this crazy time. And, and if y'all have tips, please send them our way. But you know, what we are thinking of too is like, this is our new normal. So we're gonna figure out how to live with it rather than thinking about the end when this is gonna come to an end because nobody knows. So we're just living with it, rocking and rolling with it. And I feel like having fun with it. Might as well. <laughs> what else? What else? So the only thing I missed this week was the hairspray at your champagne. <laughs> Put them in the right place. 
Y'all know what I'm saying. Yeah, we've been <laughs> inspired by y'all. Exactly. To develop new products and they're coming soon and we're super we're excited. Can't wait. Can't yeah. wait. Yeah. So uh shoot us yeah, if you if you have something that we missed, I would love your tips on Yeah, this. and well, I'd I'm really afraid. love to see your favorite source for masks. Right. I found one yesterday that someone posted, I think it was Martha Stewart or something, and he, she says you can breathe through it, and I showed it to her and she said, that is hideous. <laughs> so apparently I won't be ordering one of the ones which allows me to breathe. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, you But know. if you have another option, please send it so I can submit it for approval. It was really weird. It looked like an animal snout, so I don't know. It was I weird, mean, but, <laughs> but as the grocery shopper for the family, I would enjoy being able to breathe. Yeah, I understand. I do understand. I totally get it. Okay, well, I'll be posting a picture of my satin mask. We can't wait. This weekend, so stay tuned. And um, yeah, y'all enjoy the rest of your week. We're halfway through the week. It's definitely five o'clock somewhere. It's almost five o'clock It's in almost Texas. five o'clock here, so <laughs> totally counts. And if you have any tutorials or anything you want to see, send us a DM and we'll let us know. We're on it. Get on it. Okay. Bye, guys. Cheers. Cheers. See you later.